And the examiner community. And the examiner community too. An examining community too could be also have the badge view, which allows you to add that little badge to all the views. Basically, you just wrap your control inside of that badge view, and you can show a badge on top of it, which is really cool. I also have some opportunities for you to contribute to the examining community toolkit, or you know, at least um, give us your ideas about how we should implement things. So you know, just go check it out and let me know under this video or on the repository how you want to do things. It's all up to you. Right, so here we are in a file new Xamarin Forms project, as always. You can see it on the left in Visual Studio uh, for Mac 2019. It's running on the right in my iOS emulator. Um, if you want to see it in Android emulators more, or are you using Windows? I don't know, what are you using? Please let me know in the comments, then maybe I can, you know, switch around my configuration a little bit and make it work to um, make it look like a little bit more what you're doing. But of course, you can also do this on Windows with Android, all the things so don't worry about that it will look a little bit different but you can do it all with those tools as well so i'm going to show off a little bit of hot reload here as well so i'm going to update this and i'm going to say badge view sample save that and you can see it automatically show up on the right um, no need to stop and restart my application so that is really really cool um, so what i already did is install the examine community toolkit on all of my projects so i'm going to go to solution um, right click here, say xamarin.xamarin.community toolkit. Um, you should be able to find it. And whenever you do, you can just install it on your application um, and it will have, um, you know, install it on all of your, all of your project. I already did that. So, you know, we can get going with the actual demo. Um, so what you want to do after you've installed it, then you want to add this XML namespace right here. You can choose your own uh, name. I'm going to use XCT because, you know, it's nice and short. And you can use this custom URL that will include all the namespaces of all the different things that you can use inside the toolkit. Um, and you can just use that XCT um, and everything will just work from XAML, that is, for all the things in C-sharp code. Again, you can do that in code all as well. Uh, but you will need to reference the actual right namespaces for that. So let's save this. It doesn't actually do anything. So now let's implement the actual um, batch view. And that might be a little bit different than what you're used to because, you know, because we want to show that um, batch view um, on the top of something, um, we are going to wrap that batch view around the control that we actually want to show it on. So if we're just going to take this um, little label right here, start developing now, which is this top one here, and we can just say, okay, batch view, um, it already sees that it's in the XCT namespace, so it's going to add that automatically. Um, and then we close the tag, but we want to actually wrap it around this label. So let's do that. And whenever we do, you can still see nothing happened. So, you know, you can have that batch view in place, uh, but if you do not want to show a value, it will show nothing different in your control. So that is good, right? That's what we want. Um, but whenever we do a text here and we can say text, um, you know, start developing now, um, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, and we save that, it's not going to look pretty, but you can see a little badge is coming up here, right? So it has a white background, which is default black text. Uh, so it's not really, really clear in this context, but it will show up automatically. And of course we can, you know, um, change that background color right here. So we make that red to mimic kind of the iOS badges, right? So boom, we have a red background and we have a red badge on there. And of course, the text color is something that we can do too. So let's set the text color to white. And suddenly we have this badge um, that looks mimics kind of the way that iOS does it. Um, and you can either go a step further and we can even say the border color. So let's do the border color white too, uh, which is not going to be really clear, of course, against a white background. So let's make that yellow to make it a little bit more clear. And here we go. It's, it's not, um, it's hard to see on the screen, I think, but it has a little yellow border right now. So you have lots of options to style this. Now, I'll be honest, you're probably going to think and comment here, hey, this badge is not round. Um, that is true. <laughs> As we can see, it's not round. So that is something that we're still thinking about. Personally, I think it should be round, uh, but maybe should we, you know, create a API to let you influence the um, rounded the, the, the corner radius? Is that something you want? Or how do you expect this to work? How do you want this to work? Should it be just round and uh, we should 
never stop talking about it because you know we don't want to influence that behavior what are the things that you're trying to see we're trying to shape this api with you so let me know in the comments or on our github aka.ms slash xct that will take you to the github repository for the exam community toolkit please let us know what you want to do with this badge um so we can shape it, ha, shape, because we want to make it round um, the way you want. So that is something that we're definitely thinking about for now. This is it. It will just, you know, um, shape the way um, depending on the text that's in here. So you can also, of course, add numbers in here. So you have that like little one thing um, or you can do 99 plus because it's, you know, it's just a string. So you can do basically all the things in here. That is pretty cool. Um, another thing that we're still thinking about is, um, um, well, what I really would love to have is to hook up a command in here so that you, whenever you tap it, that you can do something then as well. That's not in there right now. Um, so that's definitely something that we're thinking about. But let's talk about the things that are actually in here. So you could already see whenever I'm refreshing this, there's a little bit of animation as well. Um, so of course, you can enable and disable that with um, um, is animated. So whenever I set this to false, um, you know, it will just um, um, be there basically you could still it's did that little animation uh, but you should be able to uh, disable that as well and actually you can um, um, influence that animation yourself by implementing some interface I'm not exactly sure what the name is I animation I batch animation maybe um, so with that you can create your own kind of animation to let it fly in from the side from the top do whatever you want whenever this batch is shown so that is pretty cool stuff. Now there's a couple of other more things that I want to show you. So let's move on from the animation. And you can also of course do the position because you know, now it's top right. Uh, but we can also do bottom left. And whenever we save that, boom, it's on the bottom left of our start developing now label. So you know, you can do all the corners basically. Um, so you can influence that position um, yourself. So that is, you know, you have all the flexibility to do whatever. Uh, top left is also something. So like I said, all the corners, and it will show up there automatically and nicely on top of that view. Um, so that's something that you can definitely do as well. Now, what else? Of course, you can also set like the um, uh, the font size and that kind of stuff to make your badge a little bit bigger and, and smaller. And you can use these name sizes. So whenever I set this to small, um, it will be much smaller, you see, and automatically the badge also shrinks together with that. So you can make that badge um, bigger and smaller by just setting the font size, basically. So that is also something. Um, another thing that you could do is um, say if it should have a shadow or not. Um, so in this case, I'm not really a fan of the shadow, but you know, you can definitely do that. So boom, here we are. Hash shadow and you can add that shadow to your badge as well. So the last thing I want to show you is a property called auto hide, uh, which is kind of a funny one. I'm also, you know, struggling with maybe change the um, behavior of this. So whenever we set the auto hide to true, um, it's going to auto hide whenever the value is null. So at the actual digit null. So whenever I do this, um, it will be gone. And whenever I set it to one, um, it will show up. So this is not the best example. Um, a better example would be this text, of course, is a bindable property. Um, and whenever that bindable property goes down to zero, it will automatically go away because your typical scenario for a badge is, of course, that you want to show like a count on something that you're showing. So maybe how many messages are there in your inbox, how many friend requests you have. Um, and whenever it goes down to zero, um, it will automatically hide and it will not show anymore. So that is kind of the idea behind this. Uh, but you know, you can have any kind of text in here. So maybe there is some other text that you want to have in here, um, when it to to auto hide it, or um, of course, you can always make it empty, right? So then it, it won't show as well. Um, but that that's some things that I feel can still be better. Um, so you know, if you have ideas about that, please reach out to us under this issue, um, under this video, and or in an issue on our GitHub repository. Um, other than that, this is what you can do with a badge view right now. And I've wrapped it around a label here. But of course, we can also do um, like, you know, add a button, uh, just to show you that what else is, 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 is uh, possible test, here we go, here we have our button. And then whenever we do this, we can also wrap a badge view around that badge view. Um, there we go. And suddenly we also have a badge on our 
button. So, you know, you can wrap this um, um, button view around all kinds of views, all the things, so you can basically add that badge to everything you want. So how cool is that? A badge for everything. You can put a badge on a button, you can put a badge on a label. Um, so I know a lot of people are waiting for a badge on like the shell tabs and that kind of stuff. Uh, there's already badge support inside of the tab view. That's also an Examiner Community Toolkit. You can check out the video that's showing on your screen somewhere right now. Um, but you know, these um, badges, this badge view allows you to add badges to all the rest of your things for shell i think we have to wait a little bit longer for the support but um, it's coming we've heard you that you want those badges so it's coming thank you for watching this video please like it if you actually did like it subscribe to my channel so we can grow and grow and make even more people happy and you'll be notified automatically when new content comes out that is so cool um, also you know if you want to maybe support me a little bit more consider becoming a member um, for just a small price you can already do that and other than that i will be seeing you for my next video so in the meanwhile keep coding